This weekend, the Open Qualifier for the Czech Mina World Championship is back. It's been three years since we had a world champion uh, being crowned in the game that we all love. And since that time, there has been some contenders rising up, some players that have improved themselves. And one of these players is Rasi from Croatia. He did well in the Open Grand League, so we can only expect him to know the maps well and to be prepared to do well in this Open Qualifier. But Rossi, first of all, it's a pleasure to welcome you to this channel. It's always great to meet people for the first time and to introduce them to the world of Jackmania. And I will give you the honor of introducing yourself. Who are you? What do we need to know about you for the people that might not know who you are? Um, uh, thanks so much for having me. So I'm Razi, previously known as uh, Razor. I've been playing this game for over 10 years now. And uh, most of the time I was only playing NASCAR for always uh, for over seven years. Then in uh, January 2018, I joined the uh, MNM Academy, switched to tech. And since then I've been trying to get involved in the competitive scene uh, more and more. And uh, since the scene evolved into a kind of a mixed scene, I've been enjoying it a lot. I've been uh, putting a lot of effort into Open Grand League and uh, here we are now training for the World uh, Championship. <laughs> so yeah, in 2018 you started moving into more of the competitive scene that at that year was the tech because the same year we of course crowned the last tech world champion. So it's sort of like uh, two ends meeting here. You started uh, moving into the competitive scene seriously in 2018. That same year was the last year we crowned the last world champion. Now we are back crowning a new world champion. So can you tell us how does it feel to now be part of a world championship? First of all, it's going to be open qualifier, but lately or later it's going to be the 16 best players battling it out. Uh, it feels amazing, honestly, because back then I was just a newbie in tech. <laughs> but like I had uh, no chance whatsoever to even come close to the TMPL level. But now I feel like I'm actually a contender to be in that uh, TMGLWC group stage. I feel like I can do something. I think this type of maps uh, really fits me. And uh, I'm definitely happy that this is the way the scene has been evolving into. I'd uh, much rather play mixed uh, than tech, <laughs> even though I still like tech. But mixed just uh, gets, I think, the best out of the best Yorkmania players because there's so many more skills involved. Mm. Uh, we mentioned, or I mentioned, the Open Grand League, and you proved yourself there. I believe it was top three, at least, in the, the group stage of it. So can you tell people, how has 2021 been for you so far? How was Open Grand League for you? And did you uh, surpass your own expectations in your performance there? Um, I think I performed exactly how I thought I would, because I put a lot of effort into it. I was already doing really well in the fall season, but unfortunately I kept losing my points on map 6. <laughs> so I made a real effort into just understanding how the system works and uh, mentally preparing myself. I think that was uh, the biggest change I made. Mm. So when the winter season came, like I was so excited just to play map 6. Not the step overall, but every time map 6 came up, I was like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> and I think that really played into my wheelhouse. I performed really well, I'd say, overall. And uh, I'm really happy with uh, my performance in the group stage, not with the performance in the Super Final. But hopefully I can uh, make some things right in this uh, qualifier. Mm. Yeah, because the performance in the group stage was, of course, then you were one of the favorites to making it into the Czech Mina Grand Leagues next season. But sadly for you, it's uh, Bings and Worker who took the two slots for Open Grand League and being uh, promoted into Czech Mina Grand League. Is that somewhat demotivating? Did you have like a goal of qualifying into the Jackman and Grand League or was that just a bonus for you if you made it after the Super Final? Uh, that was the main goal. Uh, the first goal was to make it into the top four. Obviously, I wanted to skip the whole of final, go directly into the <laughs> Super Final. But all the time, my main goal was to uh, get into the Grand League. I really want to go pro in this game. Mm. I really enjoy playing this game to a high level. I don't really enjoy being a casual. I don't enjoy playing the campaign, but I really love uh, playing all of these uh, high tier uh, competitions. So I'm going to try again. And uh, my main goal will always be to make it into the Grand League. Hmm. You mentioned that you were like a kid in the candy store once map six uh, came around. So I can only imagine how you feel now that it's the world champion being crowned. It has such a long history in Czechmania dating all the back uh, to 2006. You like the competitive environment and then you must like it when 
you have the best names in the world preparing. You even have the best players in the world preparing for these open qualifiers. The defending champion Kappa is there. The Scrappy who was top four in the Czechmina Grand League. So how do you see yourself heading up against these players that are the elite of the elite in the world of Czechmina? I don't really put those players on a pedestal. I don't really think of them as when I go into a match against them, I'm going to lose already. Yeah. I just see it as a challenge. I would see it as a big accomplishment if I take uh, some of them down. And I mean, it's great that they've achieved so much, but I don't think it gives them any particular advantage in a, a new competition because we all start with zero points. We're all playing under the same environment, under the same conditions. So it's all about how we perform in that particular match. Hmm. But can you tell us how have you prepared for this one? Of course, you know the maps. But have you sort of rebooted the training sessions that, okay, I need to resharpen my sword to get into the fight? Or how has the preparation for this open qualifier been for you? I've uh, played quite a bit, especially in the fall maps. I always uh, felt ready on the winter maps because it doesn't really feel like it's been over two months since then. <laughs> So I put a lot more effort into those. Also, those maps are a bit more tricky. I feel like the identities in those uh, are kind of worth more time. They decide a lot more in the run rather than in the winter maps. And I think I put a lot of effort into it. I wouldn't say like I played 10 hours a day or something crazy like that. But still, I feel like I've done enough to be ready. And I don't think I could have done much more to be any more ready than I am right now. Hmm. We talk, of course, it's eight slots in the open qualifiers this, that is going to qualify into the official champion uh, World Cup. Uh, can you tell us what is the goal? Is it to be among the top eight that is going to then get the slot? Or is it even a bigger goal that you want to get top eight in the official World Cup or even get top three, of, even bigger, becoming the world champion? What goals do you have? Uh, those will be, I think, looking so far <laughs> right now. I just want to go step by step. Yeah. The goal is to qualify into the group stage, and then if I do, then I can move it, move on, on to the next goal. But for now, I'm just looking at this qualifier. I just want to make it through, and then after that, uh, we'll see what happens. Hmm. Uh, I have sadly been sort of a casual ever since the Czechmania, uh, the the head-to-head -head battles in the Czechmania Grand League and Open Grand League. So I'm not the best to give an insight about who could make it. So I'm going to ask you, who do you see as potential contenders for making it? Who do you see as more of a given that they should be in and more or less should have their spots secured among the eight in this open qualifier? Well, I don't think it's a given for anyone hmm. because I think there's a lot of contenders. I don't think anyone can just get into it and expect themselves to qualify, even if they're a former world champion. And I think the reason why they're a former world champion is because they understand that. They know that they have to perform uh, once again. So I would say, obviously, it is Kappa. It is uh, Scrappy, who looks ridiculously fast on these maps. Uh, maybe Mada. He's also really fast, really consistent. Out of the OGL players, I'd say uh, Soldier has been looking really good in practice. Then there's a lot of, uh, especially French players, who are practicing offline, so it's uh, really hard <laughs> to say. But maybe... I could point out the uh, Binks and the uh, Worker because mm. they did qualify into the uh, next uh, TMGL season, so they already did really well in, on the winter maps. So surely they have to be among the favorites. Mm. Final question for me: It's a question that I try to ask all the people that is coming up during this Czechmina Grand League World Cup. Who is going to be the new Czechmina World Champion? Who is going to lift off the trophy and call themselves the World Champion of Czechmina in 2021? I think I gotta go save here. I gotta say, uh, Carl Jr. Well, so far, four it's for just four. Hard. It's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's hard to see anyone yeah. else. I know that the likes of Pack and Gwen are probably just as good, but he always finds a way to clinch it <laughs> in the end. So I'll definitely go with uh, Carl Jr. That's it. Uh, best of luck in uh, this open qualifiers. We have sort of a deal in the background here. We won't spoil too much, but it is something at stake here that is bigger than a world championship that is more important than making it into the top eight on this open qualifiers. But best of luck to you, uh, Rossi, and hopefully you can make Thanks. Croatia proud and sort of you can start a Trackmania history at the world championship for that nation as well. I hope so too. Thanks, Matt. That's it. Bye-bye.